Soul and company are operating around the clock to get Elfelt back from her kidnappers. But time continues to pass without any solid leads. Just then, the most unexpected guest shows up. Lend you my strength? That's right. What kind of joke is this? Why would I be your damn errand boy? If I had any other option, I would have explored it. But this time, we are truly in need of your strength. Why me? Time is of the essence. I can explain on the way. Huh? Justice is still in the hands of our enemy. It is only a matter of time before she's revived. We want to stop their plan, and you get to save that Valentine. I believe our interests are aligned. <sighs> Flame of corruption, I swear on it. If you feel suspicious at any moment, you can behead me if you wish. Hmm, as if that'd be enough to kill you. Sin, get ready. We're heading out. Eno, did you find Jacko? Forget about her. I found something far more interesting. Huh? What on earth are you- More importantly, <gasps> I'm interested in your seed. Seed? <laughs> what idiocy did Jacko put into your head? Huh, I guess I got a little too greedy. Fine, you guys do whatever. For now. <laughs> What's going on here? <sighs> I don't know how much I'm at liberty to say. Do you know what the Universal Will is planning on doing with Justice? The parrot said something about not knowing its true motive, but isn't it something straightforward like wiping out humanity or some such? I can see why you'd think that way, but its true aim is the revival of Justice. Meaning? To put it in simple terms, it wants to create a new version of humanity to replace the current one. Our vessel, Justice, fulfilled its criteria. And the Valentines were created as souls to be merged with Justice. In other words, when Elfeld fuses with Justice, we'll have a brand new version of humanity on our hands. That man is working to keep that from happening. His plan is to fuse Jacko to justice instead, blocking any other attempt to do something similar. And your lid, Jacko, just ran off. So now you want me to capture her. That still doesn't answer why you need me. Besides, I'm not really clear on the whole compatibility thing. Are only certain types of souls able to merge with justice? As you know, Gears need a certain type of subject. For example, when something becomes a gear, its predecessor's conscience is inherited, which would make it extremely difficult for a complete stranger to fuse with justice. The hell? Then the reason the first Valentine looked like Arya was... You piece of shit! Why'd you bring me here? It appears I've said too much. Answer me! Why am I here? Ah, Raven! Long time no see! And nice to meet you! <sighs> oh, my freaking head! What the hell? Are you here to capture me too? Aww, I wanted to have a little more fun! Don't be like that. I even brought your friend, Soul Bad Guy, with me. So? Uh huh? So that's your name? I thought it was Freedom. I can't seem to recall it. But I feel 
like we'd really get along. All according to plan. Let's go back now. Sure. <sighs> Wait, take off your mask. Show me your face. Eh, okay. But you've got to give me some candy. Candy? Otherwise, <laughs> I'm going to play some tricks on you. <laughs> Trick or treat. There's no way she should be this strong. No way! I'm Jacko Valentine. Ugh. And I'm half Aria. Yes. Half. Half? No, that's not it either. More accurately, I'm a synthesis of Aria's fragmented memory. Designed to overwrite Justice's individual information sectors. Kind of like a physical patch. You have my thanks, Flame of Corruption. What? Wait a sec! Quit your yapping! You'll understand everything soon enough. For now, we just have to wait patiently for that man to become free. Willingly or not, you're going to be heavily involved in everything that's about to go down. God damn it! You mean justice? Justice was Aria all along! <laughs>